Well, my next guest starred on the hugely popular Nickelodeon show Drake and Josh. Well, starting next Friday, he can be seen on the big screen in superhero movie. Please welcome Drake Bell. Now, uh, we'll dispense with the old news first, which is Drake and Josh. How many years did you do that for? Oh, man, uh, I think about four or five years. Yeah, yeah. and then I, I think you guys did a smart thing. You, you, you stopped doing it because you thought, like, we, we can't pretend we're young. You know, we're... <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when, when you look like you're 24 and you're driving a car and you just got your driver's license, I guess. In the episode, you, right. Yeah, you know. But I think that's key because on shows like Beverly Hills 90210, no knock against that show, but they kept it going for so long that towards the end they were like, I'm worried about that high school exam. <laughs> And, you know, they look like Korean War veterans, you know? <laughs> and it was, it hurts the, you know, the uh, realism, I think, just yeah, a little I think, bit. Yeah, I think it does. But, you know, I, I mean, I, we had a great time on that sure. show. And I, I hopefully we'll, we'll work together again because I love Josh and I love that whole camp and everything, you know, so. Sure. Well, you're on to, you're on to big things now. Movie, <coughs> superhero movie. Uh, you get to play a superhero, mm -hmm. which is secretly everyone's dream. I think so, yeah. I, it is. <laughs> We've all wanted to be a superhero. Uh, w what was fun about it? First of all, you get to wear the superhero costume. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Why? <laughs> that was, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's about this tall when you're not wearing it. Right. And then you got to stretch it over your entire body and you're sucked in this tight suit all day. Right. With, uh, you know, with the annoying cod piece, uh, you know, to hide your junk and to make it look like, you know, you're... Uh... That's all we're talking about on this show today, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a theme to tonight, which we should have put in TV Guide and on the internet. Uh... <laughs> Well, you have to, oh, uh, because, uh, because it's so tight that the outline, so you need to cover it. You gotta yeah. cover it, yeah, and we went through different sizes. Like, it, it, you know, we would come out and they'd try the suit on me for the first time, and it just didn't look right. You yeah, know, it's like, right. okay, and so they put one in and it was just gigantic. Right. And it looked... That's and the it one I would choose. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Give you me know, the gigantic then, one. I mean, we went through a lot of changes with the costume. The muscles were too much, so I'd come out and my legs would be huge and my, my torso would be they tiny. Had the, you know? the, 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 the muscles are added. I want to get a shirt like that for the beach. <laughs> I really it's do. awesome. I mean, when you look in the mirror, you really feel like you're a superhero. You, when you're walking around in the costume and you're, you're running and stuff, you're, you really, you can't help but run and walk like a superhero. That would know? be a problem, though, if you're wearing padded muscles and you wear them for a while and then you go into a bar and start taunting people. <laughs> Forgetting that you actually have no body strength. That's what would happen to you. <laughs> Try this on for size. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. I'll be with you in 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, you've had a lot of success. And for a guy who's had this much success and has a fan base, uh, a, a young sort of, you know, rabid fan base, you've stayed out of the tabloids, which seems like a smart move. How have you managed to do that? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess I just don't go out and party all the time, you know? Right. I mean, I, I just, you know, I, I care about the work. I love, I love what I do. I love being on set. I love, you know, it's, I'd rather be doing a movie than be, you know, rehab, you know? It's just, right. <laughs> right? It's I mean, the part that just before rehab, it's so great. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, oh, I went to rehab to get into character for the right. next movie. No, you didn't. You were messed up. Right. Know? Well, what, what, when, when have you shown up in the tabloids? Um, oh, oh my gosh, actually, there's been some, wit they, they, they're all not true, they're crazy. There was one where I'm dating Britney Spears, there w and it was in a German tabloid, a British tabloid, and then it made it to In Touch, I think. Right. And I, she ditched Howie Day for me. Right. And we were emailing each other hot, steamy text messages and emails, and there's a picture of me next to Britney, I think I've met Britney maybe twice. Right, you know, right. Because of Zoe 101 and stuff, but... I mean, it's, it's crazy. So but they just made that up. Yeah, completely. But I think it's awesome. You know, I get to call my friends and say, no, I'm dating Britney Spears. No, you're not. No. Go, go pick up In Touch magazine. Yeah. <laughs> go to Germany and read a tabloid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love to have a tabloid story like that about me, you know? Mine are always things like Conan O'Brien doesn't wash hands after <laughs> using bathroom. <laughs> and then it's always me looking sad. <laughs> and that's not true. There was that one time. Uh, but, you know, I would kill for a story like that. I think yeah, it would be I mean, great it's, to it's have it out there. It's exciting, you know? You're dating the most famous woman in the world and you've never even met her. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. I'd like when Conan O'Brien is too sexy. <laughs> uh, he's insatiable. You know, stuff like that. You get out there, oh, please, it's not true, but it would be fun. <laughs> Now, you've been in this business a long time. Uh, you started, you were a child actor. Yeah, I started when I was like five years old. You know, I just loved movie. I love classic comedy. I love, mm -hmm. you know, you Martin were Jerry Lewis. Maguire, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah, that, that was one of my first, like, big r movies, you know, get, get to tell Tom Cruise to F off and give him the middle finger, you know, it was pretty cool. 
Okay, that was part of the movie. Yeah. That no, was... no, no, no. That was that. No, the part of the movie. My dad was in a in a coma, and I was and I was sad. Right. This was just offset. He wouldn't give someone an autograph, and I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a wheelchair. We're shooting at a hospital. Come on. Do it, Cruz. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. That's how I talk to him. Uh, what and and what was it like to work with Tom Cruise when you were? That, I mean, what was your impression when you were that age? How old were you, by the way? You I, were like I think 10? I was ten years old. Yeah. yeah, he was awesome. I mean, yeah. he was so cool. You know, uh, I, and I and I went to do some auditions at Sony Studios a, a few weeks later after I'd already shot, and they were still shooting. And I saw Cameron Crowe in the bathroom, um, washing our hands. Right. And uh, <laughs> thanks, pal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, that's time I don't have. <laughs> I went to get in and get out. <laughs> Watch and, those hands later. And, and he invited me over to the set. You know, he said, come by and, come by and see us. And, and Tom's just so great. You know, we ended up playing Descent on the computer for like an hour during lunch. And he was just, that's just the kind of guy he was. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you said it, not me. I think whatever he does is super amazing. Uh, we have a clip here uh, from Superhero Movie. Uh, anything we need to know for this clip? Um, this is with Leslie Nielsen. This is, yeah, this is when I'm first telling them that I get superpowers. It's the first time they realize something, something's going on with Rick Riker. Let's uh, take a look at this clip from Superhero Movie. There we go. Rick! Oh, my God! How did you do that? Uh, it's easier than it looks. No, I don't think so. Why don't you tell me what's going on? I think I have superpowers. I find that hard to believe. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, how about this? Go ahead and throw as many punches as you want. I bet you a hundred bucks you don't land one. Leslie Nielsen is still going strong. 83 years old, man. It is still going. Unbelievable. Uh, Superhero movie opens next Friday. Drake Bell, great to see you Thank again. You yeah, so thanks much. for doing it. Yeah. Okay, when we come back, Yael Naim, stick around.